Every year, more than 160 million bottles of Tabasco are sold. To produce such a quantity, an enormous amount of peppers are needed. Each step of the process is carried out by the master craftsman. So how is this popular spicy sauce made? In this video, we will discover how 700,000 bottles of Tabasco are processed every day. This American company has been producing hot sauce since 1868. Its most famous version is made with Tabasco peppers, a type of chili. The secret to the spicy flavor of the reddish sauce is surrounded by the swamps of Louisiana. The island is situated on a massive underground salt deposit the size of Mount Everest. This ancient deposit of rock salt was formed millions of years ago, which provides them with what they need to make the sauce. This is the packaging plant where all the bottling is done. It has four production lines and produces around 700,000 bottles a day. The peppers are only picked when their color matches that of these small red wooden sticks, a technique that has been passed down through generations, and they still use the original recipe of Edmund McElhenney. The business began as a craft industry by an unemployed banker who was trying to find a way to make some money. In 1868, the banker Edmund McElhenney perfected the Tabasco recipe. This is the original copy. They even preserved one of the first bottles of Tabasco. Over 140 years later, Tabasco is still being produced in the same place where it all began. For every 3.7 liters of ripe chili, a heaping teaspoon of salt is added and thoroughly crushed. The company has pepper fields at its main headquarters in Louisiana, as well as in Central and South America using seeds. In the Louisiana fields, the company president selects the best plants for seed extraction, those with juicy peppers that ripen early with well-formed layered branches and healthy leaves. He marks his selection with a cord, and then the pickers collect those peppers and send them to the seed extractor for sauce production. The peppers are also picked by hand. These chilies are carefully selected to ensure freshness and quality. The spicy red peppers are picked fresh and ground into a puree. In Tabasco factories, they aim to get the chilies at their optimal ripeness when they have a bright red color. Green chilies or those showing signs of deterioration are discarded to determine the ones which are ripe. Pickers use a small red stick, and if a pepper matches the color of the stick, they pick it. If not, it stays on the plant. It's a difficult job, but it ensures that only perfect chilies are used to make the sauce. Once the chilies have been selected, they are ready to move on to the next step in the Tabasco hot sauce production process. Before grinding the chilies, a thorough cleaning is done to remove any impurities or residues. The chilies are washed and properly dried to ensure their quality and purity. Once the chilies are clean and dry, they are placed in special mills designed to crush them into a paste. The grinding process allows for control over the texture and consistency of the sauce by adjusting the speed and duration of grinding. This allows for a finer or coarser sauce, depending on the brand's preferences and standards. The factory grinds the chilies and mixes them with salt. This creates a paste that is then placed in oak barrels to ferment and age. The collected chili arrives as a salty red pulp. Each new delivery fills 100 of these barrels, and you can't use just any old barrel. If you want the sauce to have the perfect spicy kick to achieve the perfect balance of flavor, the puree must ferment in these old bourbon barrels for three years. The key to fermentation is that the wooden barrels breathe, allowing enough air to stimulate the growth of natural yeast, but not too much, as it would alter the color of the puree and produce a metallic taste. After putting paper on the mash to prevent surface discoloration, the workers seal the barrels and then spread a layer of salt on top. Since they have so much salt, they even use it to seal the barrels before the puree starts to ferment. The salt acts as a natural preservative and helps initiate the fermentation process. The barrels are sealed airtight to create an anaerobic environment, meaning there is no oxygen present inside. This is essential for the development of fermentation. Now they are taken to a warehouse where the puree will ferment and age for three years. Fermentation releases carbon dioxide, which causes liquid to come out through the ventilation hole at the top of the barrel. There, the salt absorbs the liquid and hardens. Friendly bacteria convert the sugars from the peppers into lactic acid, which gives Tabasco its characteristic flavor. During fermentation, 
the temperature and time are controlled to ensure optimal flavor development and acidity balance. After three years, the moment of truth arrives. It's time for the important taste test. After three years of fermentation and aging, they remove the salt and open the barrel, and what was once bitter and sharp is now aromatic with a smooth and complex flavor. But that puree is not yet ready to be served. It needs to go to the main factory building for further processing. The fiery reddish mixture is pumped from the barrels to this giant sieve with an industrial vacuum. We now have a fine, salty and spicy mixture, but we don't have the Tabasco taste yet. It lacks an acidic kick. The third essential ingredient is distilled white wine vinegar, stored in these 5,000 litre tanks. It is added to the mixture in these 7,000 litre oak containers. During mixing, the tanks are stirred to ensure a uniform distribution of ingredients and achieve a smooth and reliable consistency in the sauce. The pumping system is programmed to add an exact amount of vinegar to the mixture, which is then stirred for 28 days. That's how long it takes for the vinegar to break down the solid pepper materials into smaller particles. During this process, the vinegar also takes on the color, flavor, and aroma of the peppers. The sauce doesn't require any cooking process since vinegar acts as a natural preservative. After mixing, the sauce undergoes a filtration process to remove any sediment or impurities. Different filtering techniques are used, such as membrane filters or gravity filters, to obtain a clear sauce free of particles. Now the sauce is ready. It should be thick enough with just the right level of acidity. The Quality Control Department analyzes samples from each batch of sauce to check its viscosity, salt level and other criteria. Laboratory technicians also conduct taste tests to check the flavor. In between tastings, they cleanse their palate by eating salted crackers and use ice cream to cool the burning sensation caused by the sauce. When the batch receives approval, it is distributed to the bottling line. Meanwhile, the rows of bottles are taken to a filling machine. The company uses glass instead of plastic because glass better protects the sauce from oxygen. If oxygen were to enter the bottle, it would negatively affect the flavor and color of the sauce. The sauce is fed into a filling machine where each bottle is rapidly filled with the product. Tabasco hot sauce is carefully poured into the bottles and automatic filling machines are used to ensure precise and uniform amounts of sauce in each bottle. 700,000 bottles of 57 milliliters are filled every day. The screw capping machine then seals each bottle with a plastic cap and the bottles are sent to the labeling machine. Labels are printed in 22 languages and dialects. A decorative band and a clear plastic seal are then placed over the cap. Each bottle has a protective plastic seal to let you know if someone has tampered with your hot sauce. Filled and labeled bottles are packaged in boxes or packs ready for storage and distribution. The boxes are shipped to 165 countries and territories worldwide. Fresh off the production line, it's ready to enjoy. If you want to know how butter is made, watch the video on your screen. Like the video if you have enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating notifications to keep learning. Thank you for watching.